begins. The Mercer Bears and the Wofford Terriers getting set to go at it on Ingalls College Baseball. Wofford coming off a series loss last weekend against UNCG. Here's what the standings look like as the Sanford Bulldogs are setting the pace. Mercer right behind them, and there are the Terriers, even the loss column with Sanford, but still behind the two front runners. Hi, everybody. Welcome in with Larry Sorensen and Pete Hannity. And, well, you had a conversation with Todd Interdonato, the Wofford head coach, before the game, and he kind of reflected back on that UNCG series. He said it's only the third series that, you, that uh, Wofford has lost in the last three seasons, one each year, and his players took it very seriously. They're used to winning. They like the winning. He said even on the bus on the way home, there was a group of six or seven guys that were sitting together, and they were dissecting the weekend, talking about what they needed to do to get better and then they went out in their midweek game and they got better and they played a very good game against Georgia State and won that and they think they're back on track and the Terriers still control their own destiny in the Southern Conference now a couple of teams that can hit boy Mercer just rolls them out there Trace in Hughes freshman All-America a year ago he's having a nice sophomore season yeah he's batting 363 and what's unusual is he he has some power too he's got some power from the leadoff position 10 home runs can do a lot of different things he can run as well eighth in the SoCon as you can see and he scores runs and that's what his coach looks for he wants guys that drive in runs and score runs on the other side of the coin we get uh, Ryan Galaney who is batting 423 60 RBIs and 80 hits leads his team in nine different categories and hitting from the second hole a little bit unusual but he's got great power but he's also very situational it's always uh, it's been amazing to watch him this year with the big gap on the right side punch a ground ball through for the base hit but he's got long ball power as well and has done a great job defensively for this team that likes to manufacture runs any way that they possibly can. Galaney leads the Southern Conference in just about every hitting statistic. A year ago, the Terriers won two of three in Macon. We get ready for the 2023 series. First pitch when we come back. Back in the day, they didn't like having kids around, and then that started changing around the mid-80s uh, or so, right around that time frame. And now it's very commonplace for the kids to hang out all the time. Payoff pitch called strike three. Brown tried to sell it. Nothing doing, says the home plate umpire. David Mabe, and it's out number two. Well, we said that uh, Buchanan would be slider heavy, and he got a strikeout in his first to the first hitter with a slider down in the dirt. And that time, he just crossed Brown up through a good fastball, knee high, outer part. Well, he'll throw a changeup on occasion, but it's mostly fastball slider, and maybe a little bit more emphasis on the slider than the fastball. Rohrbacher 0 for 5 against Terriers pitching a year ago, hit pretty well to center field. Back on it is Tool, looks up. And it's gone. 14th homer of the season for Joseph Rohrbacher. 1-0 game here in the top of the first. And that's ripped up the middle, and we're tied at one. You know, Terrier's not messing around. Hence the sophomore Cosper. Well, and not messing around either. Back to the 70s, when it was first known as the Transamerica Athletic Conference. That's it well to center. Tool back, warning track, spins, looks up, and it's gone. Two hits so far for the Bears, both solo home runs, and they move back in front. Well hit right center field. Tool back, looks up. Two homer game for Jackson Cherry, and it's 4 1 Mercer. Well, that looked like a pretty good pitch that he stayed with, went down and golfed it, and can out by a considerable margin and he knew exactly where that ball was going to end up a big celebration at home plate Buchanan, joins others on the team look at that <laughs> <laughs> that's ripped to left it'll get down and head to the corner it'll score at least one let's see if they wave Galaney over to field at Brown Galaney will be sent and a two run double for Younger to make it a one run game well, it's a really easy decision to intentionally walk Delaney, the best hitter on the team, and set things up. And Younger has done a very good job this year, according to the Wofford staff, of taking it a little bit personally and coming through with big base hits to drive in runs, exactly as he does there. He jumps on a breaking ball, rips it down the left field line for a stand-up double. Thought, for, thought about a triple for just a moment. Everybody scores easily. 39 batted in for Trey Younger, who comes up with double number 14 on the year. He's just one behind their team leader, Galaney. 
up the middle into center field, a base hit. Game is tied. They'll hold Gill at third. RBI single for David Wiley. A welcome back for him after a three-week absence. And it's a 4-4 ball game. Set up an inning from which the Terriers came up with a couple of runs on a two-run double by Younger with a couple out. 22 sacks in the season going for a 23rd in what would be a new SoCon record. Squeeze is on, a safety squeeze, and the Terriers take the lead. So he establishes a new single-season Southern Conference record with his 23rd sacrifice and give Renwick the RBI. A great reward for getting so many balls down. A nice job by Sanford coming out. It looked like Cosper thought he had a chance to get it to make a flip, but Sanford came roaring out from behind home plate to field the ball himself and get the out of first. And probably the smart play to at least get the outs, and now Wofford is a man at second, but with two away. Again, Bunny for a base hit. Sanford, fast man running. Not going to get him. Here comes the runner around third. And the Terriers steal another run. It's six to four. And that is a play that the Terriers have used on numerous occasions. I'm not exactly sure why Daly didn't fire to home. Lined in a center field. Pinch hit single. It'll score two. Over to third goes Hughes. And back come the Bears. We're tied at six. Todd Interdonato trying for career win number 450. Boy, made him look bad on that. And down goes Wiley. Lobos comes on and strikes out the side. Terriers going in order for a second straight inning. Head to the ninth. 6-6 our score on Ingalls College Baseball. Hit high and deep to right. Hits the top of the fence and goes out. Two out, grand slam, Carter Sanford. Seventh homer of the season, give him 28 batted in. Came on an 0 and 2 pitch. 0 and 2 pitch after two were out and two walks to keep the inning going.